Okay guys, let's talk about the Federalist Papers. <sighs> okay, so I started reading this book and I got into the second paper when I realized, <clears throat> excuse me, oh my goodness, um, I need some more context. So I started it over again. And when I did that, I read the very first, get me, the very first sentence says, since we've seen this government not work, we need a different one. Okay. So I thought, so I thought to myself, what does that mean? We need a different government. What does that mean? It doesn't work, you know? And I know that before we had the constitution, I believe we had the articles of confederacy, which gave us like all the state ideas and everything. So I went to get some historical context on that sentence, that one sentence, it's, the, it's what begins the whole thing. And basically the articles, the, the, the loose government that we had, <clears throat> or I shouldn't say the loose government, the government that we had was not able to enforce taxation and it wasn't able to do things like uh, get the British out of certain areas, which we had, we had made a pact with France that we would do that. And I guess give France some land. I'm not exactly sure on that end, but basically that. So when I read that, I just, I had to stop for a couple of days <laughs> and think about this because that argument is basically, well, the government's not doing well on this end. So we need more government. I was just like, oh my gosh, that sounds exactly like the liberal stuff we hear out here all over the place. That sounds exactly like that. <laughs> it sounds exactly like what liberals say now. And so I was kind of dumbfounded. I thought that, you know, our, our founding fathers were all really conservative and they were all freedom of the people and everything. And they weren't, you know, these guys who were like, well, maybe we need more government now. <laughs> After leaving the government we already had, you know, I, I don't know. So these, I was planning on doing one whole video, but what I'm going to have to do is multiple videos because as I'm reading this book, I'm finding I'm like disagreeing left, right, and center. I uh, am seeing that what is going on is also that I have no context. I don't have proper context for reading these historical documents, basically. <laughs> and so I want to be able to give you guys that in the, in the video as I go through the book and learn myself. So this will be part one. <laughs> you can also read along with me. They're actually free online and I'll provide you the link to the one that I just got done reading basically. And it's the first letter. So guys, uh, just be aware a lot of times when you, if you think you know something, just go out and learn a little bit more and, and what you think you know will kind of be blasted away. And the other thing that got to me was that my dad told me a long time ago when I was like in middle school or whatever, that the constitution is good, but it is a liberal document like it's not a document that we first had and that our rights and everything were better off before the constitution i did not believe that i love the constitution and the idea that these liberal guys are the reason i'm behind it um i'm not gonna say it gets me or that i'm disappointed i'm just surprised because most of the time my whole life liberals this is this idea of liberty and justice and everything, that is not what liberals have stood for. And I know there are people out there like Dave Rubin who are like, well, I'm a classical liberal. Well, even then, dude, you don't really stand for my beliefs. You know, I could never call myself that because I'm not okay with abortion. I'm not okay with a lot of things that you're okay with. So <clears throat> I don't know. Just keep that in mind. I think I might also be trying to work into each of my videos like the difference between a conservative and like a conservative Christian. There's a difference. Like you can be conservative and be homosexual and be, you know, um, atheist and be all this other stuff. So that's a big difference. We look at the world differently. We have several things in common, but we still look at the world differently. That's my video for today, guys. Hopefully I'll see you tomorrow. I keep saying I'm going to do this daily and I do try, but stuff always seems to get in the way. So until next time.